vetting your dating choices? I have no problem with that. Excellent answer. Ladies. Are you Vietnamese, by the way? Okay. Yeah. How would you feel about your, let's say, let's say brand new hypothetical dating app, but all the guys you swipe right on, your dad has to approve them or not. And then he has to meet the guy on the first date and approve him or not. Okay, so like I would give Based. that I would give that a chance, but like I don't know. <laughs> I don't agree everything with my dad, so What's the name of the app by the way? Is it called I Daddy? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually an app. That's that's daddy, actually daddy, daddy, thing. daddy, that daddy. Like that's really got said. Bad connotations to it. I don't you know, know, I've actually seen that. That reminds me, I think it was like a BuzzFeed video or something or yeah. Am I allowed to say that? But, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm, just, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> posture so, check, though. Um, we need a little posture yeah, check on you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I saw a video on BuzzFeed where the guys that would have their moms pick their first dates and mm. stuff. So, I think it could I mean, be interesting. Arranged marriages have a might, higher success rate. I, I don't know. I feel like they're not very happy, a lot of people. A lot of people are not happy in arranged marriages. I think it's because they don't have the perception of what they're missing out on. I think like mm. us girls in not the West everyone's here, compatible with everyone. Though. No, but like girls here in the West would look at women in like Saudi Arabia or like in the East and be like, "Oh, she's not happy." But They're it's because you're projecting. Happy. You're projecting what you think. Like if you were in her shoes, you'd be like, "Oh, I'm not happy." But the but reality, if you haven't experienced all that, then you're not gonna think, "Oh, I'm not happy." Not all the experience needs to be experienced. You don't need to do meth to know it's gonna. F- you're like, right, literally. Right. That's can, all I'm saying. Can I get the answer, like a quick answer from everyone else, all the other oh, yeah. women, about that question I just asked? Would you approve of your dad vetting your dating partners? Well, you especially. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a touchy Fully? subject. <laughs> Fully no, because I'm my own individual, and he doesn't necessarily know everything about me. Okay, so, but so basically I, no. But I would say yes, because he knows all the wrongs that he's done, and You're he is a man, You're and he yeah. knows how they think. So it's like uh, to take his opinion into consideration yep. very much, but I just don't think that he should have full control over who I marry because, like, uh, you still have to have that energy between somebody. If you say, oh, you have to marry him, and I'm like, but I don't have a spark. When I look at him, I don't feel safe or whatever that feeling is inside of me that he can't feel because he's a man and he's not a woman and he is outside of my body. Like, you know what I'm saying? I do get that. But would you, but let's say you had that spark with a guy and your father came along and said, you know what? I've spent time around this guy. I've, I've, he's giving me player vibes. This guy, I don't think this guy will commit to you as an, as a much older, wiser man. I would respect that you'd not date this man. Would you? Take your father's advice. I would believe him, and then yeah. I would, I would, I would take the time to see out what he said because I am stubborn and I want, I want to see this through. But I do hear this, and now I can see every single thing that you're saying. So now I'll take my step away. But I don't want you to fully make my decisions because I am independent. I am my own person, my own being. What about the rest of you guys? I'm curious. So, uh, <laughs> I have a non-traditional father, <laughs> so not surprising. I feel like his choices would probably be a little too wild for me. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. So, I mean, I'm more open hints. to it, but more hints. <laughs> I, more hands. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, no, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. uh, what, what um, I think like I definitely value my dad's opinion, and he definitely like he's a smart man. I respect him and all that stuff, but. Again, like what you said, my dad is not in my body and he can't feel like those feelings romantically. And so like, I feel like if he had his issues with a man, yes, I would consider them, but I wouldn't make that my turning point into whether a relationship will fail or not. Do you know what I, I, I would say to that? Is that the, the very fact that you're basic, basing your choice in men purely on emotion is the problem in the first place. Because a man doesn't really think through his emotions. Your father, I mean, again, this, this is kind of my argument here, is that like, and I'll still, I still would love to hear, you know, everyone else's opinion on this. But I think your father, who's like, let's, he's definitely going to be older than you, right? Let's say at least 18 years older than you, right? He's going to know more about men and what they are capable of, how men lie, how mm-hmm. men can deceive a woman, like what a player looks like. He's going to be able to recognize that without any emotion. Could it go the other way if your dad... If, if your dad's mom, if your grandma was like, oh, I don't want you to see that girl. She is a f-ing conniving menace. If my grand, if I, if, actually, if your actually, mother, actually, if your mother told you, know what, you that, you know who I think would be a better, stop, right? who, you know who I think would be a better choice of that actually, would probably be a grandmother mm-hmm. because she's gone through menopause. So she's got way less emotions than my mother would have had. <laughs> Seriously, that's, that's my honest answer. Like a grandma is going to be like, you know what, babe? 
she is lying. She's going to break your heart. X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. She's not going to give me a good mother. I'd actually respect my grandma's opinion on that, to be perfectly mm-hmm. honest. Would yeah. your mom be like, she's a bitch? Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it would depend like how old my mother was right, at the time, huh? obviously. I'm a bit older than you guys, but... Yeah, I think uh, I think the grandma is a pit because she's like one step removed. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, and she wants she wants grandkids because mm-hmm. she's grandma. She wants like great grandkids. So she's not gonna push you away from it. She's gonna she push really me towards a mother. Exactly. That's what she's gonna do. Yeah. All right, couple things here, guys. Yo, there's five thousand people watching right now. The chat is on fire. Thank you, guys. Yo, M and M's. Thank you for the tier two membership, guys. Get us to two thousand likes if you can. Drop a thumbs up. A uh, couple quick things. Eric, could you pull up the Twitch tab really quick? Let me just uh, remind people if uh, to uh, twitch.tv slash whatever. Go over there. Guys, drop us a follow. If you have an Amazon Prime sub, you can link it to your Twitter. Sorry, excuse me. If you have a Twitch Prime sub, dr- drop it, drop it, drop it. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch. Quick, free, easy way to support the show every single stream. And then uh, we do have a... Uh, Streamlabs donation here. By the way, guys, um, just a reminder, instead of super chatting, you can do it through Streamlabs. The link for that is in the description. Exact same triggers. However, YouTube, uh, YouTube's not gonna take their 30% cut. So any fan funding, can you hide this, Eric? Any fan funding who, uh, sorry, excuse me. Any fan funding that comes through YouTube, they take 30% of that. So if you do through Streamlabs, they only take like two, 3%, you know? Um, sweet. All right, we have, uh, hold on, hide this, Eric. Oh. Yo, Sir Isaac Newton, thank you for the 50, man. Love your show, Brian. And quick question, why are women hormones accepted but not male hormones? I didn't, is that a thing? I'm not really sure um, what the question is. Maybe, he's, to, maybe, he's, talking about, maybe he's talking about TRT. Or know. are you talking about estrogen and testosterone? Is that what we're talking about? Well, hey, uh, Sir Isaac Nutton, thank you very much for that 50. <laughs> that here, I, yeah, I'll pull, it, I'll pull it up once more here. Sir too. Isaac Nutton. Um, why are women horm... I'm trying to parse this. I don't know if you want to send a follow-up, Chad, just so to perhaps give a bit of clarification. But hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. And then we're uh, going to get through a couple of our... Uh, if, 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 wait, if what, we talked that? about male hormones as they say who's on birth control here how about that Ooh, good question. no listen wait um wait 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 if we talked about Whoa. male hormones wouldn't that break down the thought that men are supposed to be in control and they're supposed to be so strong and leaders and da 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 so if we as a society always talked about how you're what? in your in your feet no don't do that because you know that i'm making sense right now if I, I if know. if I'm no really if anything. somebody was to talk about how you're fluctuating your feelings i've seen an emotional man and people talk down on it all the time right if we constantly focused on your hormones or whatever the fuck you call it just like how